Ka'b ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when he was back home, as he missed Tabuk, he missed the expedition of Tabuk, and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he asked, where is Ka'b ibn Malik? And Ka'b is the narrator of this hadith, meaning he is the victim of what he's about to share. Ka'b ibn Malik says, قَالَ رَجْرٌ مِنْ بَنِي Salima." That a man from Banu Salima said. So Ka'b is going to conceal the identity of the man who hurt him when he wasn't there. That's the ihsan of the companions, the righteousness of the companions. He said that this man said, Ya Rasulullah, habasahu burdahu wa nadaru fi itfayhi. He probably got held back because, you know, mashallah, Ka'b has made some money recently. So Ka'ab probably was looking at his shirt, looking at his cloak, looking at his garden and got a little bit lazy. He, he didn't say Ka'ab is one of the munafiqeen, Ka'ab got held back. He made that suggestion. And Ka'ab says, Mu'ad ibn Jabal stood up and said, Bi'sa ma qult. What a nasty thing you just said. Wallahi ya Rasulullah, ma alimna alayhi illa khayra. I swear, O Messenger of Allah, we only know good things from him. Ka'ab said, I never forgot that from Mu'adh. Ka'ab got the news afterwards, right? It got transferred. Mu'adh didn't come back and say, hey man, that other guy was talking about you in Tabuk, and then I stepped in, and I had your back. No, no. Mu'adh did that because Mu'adh was the scholar of this 